Hi guys, I just wanted to go over a couple of things that I couldn't go over when I was up uh, with you in Papua Nui. Um, first of all, uh, navigating to a coordinate. We never really kind of had a, a set procedure for that. So I'm just going to go over that. So we're here in a navigation chart. Um, what you do is menu, waypoints and tracks, waypoints, and then you'll need to make a new waypoint to navigate to. So here I'm going to hit enter position and I'm just going to make a fictitious waypoint saying 37, 35, 8, 8, 9, 9, east, 1, 7, 6, 42, done. So there's, there's our vessel in trouble. I'm going to rename her um, Lady M. Oh. So there's our vessel in trouble. Her name is Lady M. So we go back to the waypoint list. Select Lady M, the vessel in trouble. Review. Navigate to. Now I could press Guide to. Uh, unfortunately, the GPS now knows I'm on land, so I can't do a Guide to, which is that automatic guidance. So I use Go to, and that's now made me a course to go to Lady M. Now the important part of this not only does that course automatically show up on my screen but also the uh, captain screen um, and whatever other screen as well so he now has that exact position and his uh, direction already entered in um, well i am got uh, the screen here uh, I also wanted to show you these are the AIS targets, the green ones so I can tap on those and they're straight up, straight off the bat we've got the name of the boat, Spirit of Endurance and I can also see a whole list of information about it. So that's the AIS add-on. Um, the only other thing which I wanted to show you is these uh, remote. Oops, you can't see very clearly. There we go. That's the remote which uh, you'll be using to control the screens. Now I just push the uh, left-hand button on the top here, and I can easily control the um, screen there on the left-hand side. So here I'll go to charts might want to look at the fishing chart for instance for whatever reason and I can zoom in and out or however whatever I would like to do uh, I can also control all of the uh, radar and sound functions as well so at the moment uh, I don't have a radar hooked up or a sounder unfortunately I can't do that in the shop but um, that would be here under combinations or it would have its own um, Getting. The other thing which I can do with this remote, which will be very handy for you, if I push now the right hand button, I'm now controlling this other screen. So I can now uh, control the captain's screen, and so I can change his screen for him. This would be very handy for you if the captain is busy doing something like uh, driving out through the bar. I can now configure his screen for him, so that when he's uh, finished doing whatever he's doing, uh, he can just look down and see whatever information he wants straight off the bat. It's very, very easy to flick between the two screens. Once again, I just have to push the button at the top uh, on the left for the left screen, on the right for the right screen. And uh, you can control whatever you like. So that's the, um, that's the remote and that's the functions which I wanted to show you.